Hello, hello, my friends. My fellow gurus. How's it going? Mr. Rice? Goth Chips? I'm sorry for the, the scare. Mr. Go? Why do you do this to me when I start the stream? Your arena time needs to be before... Jesus Christ. Hold on, it's freaking massive thunder... thunderstorm going on right now, guys. <laughs> so I might have, like, some frame drops. I'm sorry. If it gets real bad, I'll just, uh, cancel the stream. You're finally on the final chapter. Finally. I do not always have frame drops, Brandon Go. Usually when I do, it's freaking Twitch just dropping me. Are you guys excited for more Golden Sun action? More Golden Sun content. I hope you are, because that's what we're doing. You will get lost without Ellis. Ellis is not here? Oh no. Alright, good. Bryce, looks like you gotta bring up the walkthrough. Unless you guys wanna watch me suffer. So last time, I didn't change the color, dude. Change the color. What color are we doing? We've done like almost every color, basically. Kinda like this nice teal. We've already done purple. What shade of purple do you want, Mr. Rice? Trade quest if you want. Dang, there's Alice. He made it. That's not even purple, that's like dark blue. Harden shouldn't even be in the game, Doc Chips. That's so dumb. Purple always best, girl. Negates the effect of Lotto. Leave that one? I don't know which... I'm pretty sure we've had that before, but alright, whatever. So yeah, last time we went to that, uh, Tower of Frosty place, we got the final trident piece. I don't know what to do with it. But we also got Burst. Which is, like, a cool... Probably, like, the coolest... Well, yeah, Sand's really cool, actually, too. Both of those are my, my favorite so far. The Burst is, like, super satisfying. What's up, Doug? Mr. Doug. Greetings, indeed. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where does the trade side quest start? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I got the, um... What did I get? What did I get? Didn't we do some of the trade side quests last time? I forgot what we got. It's not even here! Didn't we get an item? Oh yeah, pretty stone. Olive says hi. Hi, Olive. Olive is a nice name. Kill Shihihi. Bonus one. Bonus one. <laughs> Back from your honeymoon. Wow, it's so exciting. Did you have fun? I love Sacred Feather not working. What's the bonus of that? I don't know. Like, I don't know what that is. Bleed purple. Bleed purple is like... <clears throat> something you say when you're like... Talking about your college football team or something. Aw, oh, instant kill them, dude. I mean, I one shot him anyway. 
final chapter of Zarina were all references to FE1 characters. So whoever made that hack just loves FE1. And FE3, I guess. Swam in a sea. Went in churches. <laughs> oh, you mean the, the chicken place? Pretty stone. What can I do with a pretty stone? Yeah, this is a long freaking island to run through again. Hard break! You're done. Flash edge! I forgot when you had that new weapon. Sash has his new pretty weapon. I finally found my boat, guys. No, 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 let me, uh, let me, let me, let me use the, there we go. Ten out of ten. It sounds like you had a good time. I'm, I'm glad you did. Mia admitted I'm the best character. No. Uh, no. Blade purple, 10, bonus 1 again. What's bonus 1, Mr. Rice? You remember buying this from Walmart. Hi, maddest rhetoric. Walmart used to be my jam. <laughs> There's still like a glitch pixel right there. No, let me use the... Oh my god. That's like you can't use items when you're like the shallowy parts, I guess. Oh, it's Prime Day. Oh, okay. It's Prime Day, guys. Everyone give me some bits. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does that mean you get like 10% bonus or something? Something like that? Back to the lab tomorrow. Isn't that a line, a line from some Eminem song? One of these islands had a animal that's not the turtle, and I don't remember which one it was. It has to be at least ten, Mr. Brandon Go. Prime Day has like some cool sales or something, right? Monsters will attack as often. Can I like... Oh my god, this needs like a speed... Speed boat option, like the fast sail from Wind Waker HD. We need that option this game. <laughs> when they remake this... What the hell's going on? Uh, guys, I'm going in the Misty Fog area. Uh, I don't know if this is a good thing or not. Frame drops. It's only when lightning strikes. I- it's a thunderstorm, dude, I can't help it. Sorry. Was it this one? Oh, why is the audio so crackly here? Oh yeah, I remember this. It's the parrot! <gasps> I remember this. And it's like an obnoxious mood puzzle. Just get a lightning rod? Okay. Solid deals on games and accessories often. That's pretty good, it's pretty good. Maybe I should take a look. So wait, is it tomorrow? Or is it today? Wait, I did this wrong. I did this wrong, guys. Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> oh, this week. Should call it Prime Week. Did they specifically schedule it for, uh... To end right after the Steam sale ended? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Mia 
got beds for bits. I mean, bits are nice, but... Oh my god, I gotta freaking... Fifteen through sixteen. That's not a week. That's not a week. That's two days. Maybe like the Twitch thing is the whole week. This bird better want this freaking pretty stone. Ah, oh, I don't have frosty, frosty, frost. I thought I solved that before, but I guess not. Oh no, I got whirlwind, that's what it was. I did it. The puzzle is complete. This music's nice. It's a shame it's kinda like crackly. That stone you have, it's divine. Simply divine. I must have it. Must. It's like those... Those guys in, in Diamond and Pearl, they're like, I must have this honey. Here, have this. I got a very fancy neckerchief. Got the red claw. What do you think? Don't I look fancy? I sure feel fancy and that's all that matters. But I think this looks fabulous on me. I love fancy accessories. I don't know what to do with a freaking red claw. That's not a friend that the turtle wants, and that's the only... Well, then there's the other... the cow one. I don't even know what the cow guy wants. Cow guy? Cow girl? Oh, where are you? I might need a uh, nudge in the right direction here. I also need to buy more secret feathers. It is the cow? Okay. It's apparently the cow, which was, uh, was it this one? I forgot. I forgot. One of these is the turtle, one of them is the cow. Try me, mister. I only play Age of Empires. I don't even know what Age of Empires is. I'll just check here just in case. I think this might be the turtle though. Oh no, it is the cow. Nice, we did it. They come sand. Moo, moo! Oh, that red neckerchief. It's quite nice indeed. That would lift my spirits. How? This really brightens my mood. Nice. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> are you giving that lovely thing to moi? That doesn't really work. Uh, yes. That's so kind of you. I should repay you. Have some milk. Sash got some milk. Yep, a nice red neckerchief. We'll never steer you wrong. Marth is too good, goth chips. Marth is too good. Alright, so I got the milk. Nutritious, delicious, fresh milk. If I hold it, if I hold on to it for long, will it rotten and then turn into yogurt? <laughs> this is not a friend that the turtle needs. This isn't gonna work with the turtle, right? Or is it? Because that would not make any sense.
turtle wants friend? Here, have some milk. Talk to this milk, guys. Going to be famous. A. Hey. Thanks for following Link. Link Zigmig. <laughs> Link Z. Link's GMG. I don't know. Who. Oh, wow, it's a cave that I can't get to. You love this game? This game's pretty good. It is pretty good. I. I enjoy it as well. This is not gonna work. Are you ready for Cuphead on Netflix? Wait, what? <laughs> Are they making like an anime of Cuphead or something? See, it's not the right one. Alice, I need help again. Oh, GMG short for gaming. Dog. Oh, the dog from like 10 years ago? But wait. Oh, I don't know where that was. Oh, jeez. Wait a second. Wait a second. Where was that? <laughs> there was a dog like... Wait, was it here? The West Indra Islet. I think it was. Mia is a weeb for thinking anime. Well, I don't know. But what is it? Like, is it freaking live action Cuphead? <laughs> live action Cuphead sounds fun. You know, they're making... What the heck is this? I don't know if I want to go in there yet. <laughs> you know, they're making live-action Avatar again. But not a movie, it, it's just the series this time. You were streaming Dark Dawn. I have not played Dark Dawn. I will get to that eventually. Probably in like a month or two after I beat this game. It features Mia getting killed on the first boss. Please, I beat that game in one day, Mr. Rice. I destroyed that game. The only, like, it took me like an hour to beat the dice boss, too. If it wasn't for him, I would be no way faster. The dialogue on that one is exhausting. Dude, the dialogue in this game is pretty, uh, pretty exhausting sometimes, too. Well, there's the dog. How do I get to the dog? Dice, dice boss playthrough. I smell fresh milk. Oh, he's freaking out. Are you gonna give me that milk? Are you? Huh? Huh? I'll trade this for it. I caught it myself. It's a fish. Oh, it's a turtle. Okay. I got a little turtle. Is that his freaking gangster name? His rap name? What's up, lolly fan? Who's a good boy? I don't like to waste. I'll just take tiny laps. Mia is smart at this game. Well, Ellis gave me the hints, so Ellis is the smart one here. So now I have to take this to the turtle. Which is right here. Pretty close. Not super far anyway. No, I want to use my... Oh my god. Dude, I need to buy more secret feathers. 
It's not looking good, guys. We're gonna be running into encounters all day. Sea urchins and, uh... Well, that's pretty much all you find. <laughs> Just the sea urchin enemies. Oh, there's like the merman or something? Uh... Mostly it's the sea urchin. The golden sea urchin. North of Sinia Out Island. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong one. It's the other one. God dang it, it's longer than I thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should you give tear thing to leave? Just give everything to leave. He's your husband. -o. Are you right? I know. I'm always right, actually. Well, that's not true. I'm always right, except for the times I'm wrong. Which, you know, it is pretty rare, but... It does happen sometimes. Finally, we get the turtle, his friend. Get out of the way. I like how you can just push NPCs in this game. It's kind of satisfying. I'm so very sad and lonely. I wish I had a friend to call my own. <gasps> Light bulb! <laughs> hey, you've got an itty bitty turtle tot, don't you? Why don't you set that little guy free with me? Yeah, of course. Who would say no? At long last, I have a friend. Lonesome George, I am no more. I'm so happy. I don't have much to offer in return, but I can show you my secret spots. Hop on my back. We're straight up riding a turtle. Mr. Rice. Well, here we are. That is inappropriate, mister. When you want to go back to the island, just let me know. Whoa, the island cave. What's up with this uh, symbol? So we have like a whole freaking dungeon here? I have turtle boots. Do they make me slow? Boosts defense and lowers agility. And they're trash! What is this? It like halves your agility. Turtle boots, not good. Agility, 0 0.5. Defense, plus 3. Plus 3? <laughs> plus 3 for half your... I don't know, there's gotta be some, like, secret with those, right? It can't be that freaking bad. Alright, so we got some... We got some log water puzzles. I like these, actually. They're pretty cool. Oh, look! Well, fancy that, right? It's the Venus, Jenny. Hit him with the fun stuff, dude. Shine... Shine his plasma. Ah, just basically. Death launch, Kirby up throw. 211 damage, Mother Gaia. Okay, that's, that's some damage, I guess. Raiden's Wrath. We'll see you later. You're mine. We got the Venus Jenny Meld. Hmm. I don't really want this on you. I guess it can increase your stats at least. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh wait, I can give you... Wait a second. Do you want win? The Savant! Yes, the Savant is good. Yes, yes. 
There we go. <laughs> Poor Zion who scored five and gets the freaking scraps. <laughs> Everyone else has, like, you know, their own class. Green haired Olwen with Excalibur tome. Interesting. So we got a Ginny out of this side quest, at least. That's pretty good. We also got some turtle boots and, uh... A rusty staff. Wait. Zion the score five can't complain if he isn't here. Hey. Hit him with a shine plasma. Oh my god, destroyed him. These enemies are weak. So... Is that everything that's in here? Just the Ginny and then the... I guess that's a decent reward, but it seems like he can, like, go up here, but he can't. What if I potch? Does not work. Well, we're still going against what Mr. Rice wants, so yeah, we're the bad guys, technically, so... Sorry, you fog. I guess I'm done. Oh, I got the Ginny. That's nice. Yep. Uh, okay. I have to mind read. You all set back... Set to go back to the island? Yes. Why do I, the Great Sash, have to listen to Rice? Well, I mean... That's just how it goes. Isaac is more popular than Felix. That's just... That's just the life. Sorry. So now, what am I doing? What if I go to the Misty Misty Island? And why is Briggs not freaking broken out of prison? Maybe I should visit Briggs. Alhafra? That's what I was gonna do. Time to visit Mr. Briggs. It's because you have the MC hair. Oh, you have the SAO hair. I've never seen that before. Is that bad, guys? Flash Edge. Oh, you know what? I can also go back to the, uh, the smithy guy. I got a couple of forgeable stuff here. My inventory is packed. It's freaking full of garbage. I got three pieces of trident trash. Hogging up my stuff. Oh man. Wish well was so good though. Sword Art Online. Is that a good animo, guys? What do you guys rate Sword Art Online? Oh, I can't land here? Oh, man. I gotta go through the desert again, don't I? Oh, that's a kick in the pants. Two out of ten. It's been seven years since you watched it. You know, one of my friends likes Sword Art Online. You either like it or you hate it. <laughs> I gotta go to the stupid desert again. Oh wait, no I don't. Never mind, it's just right here. Oh, 
love this song, actually. <laughs> this might be my favorite new song in this game. Oh, we should buy... we should buy... My favorite anime character is Isaac and Metapod. Uh, let's see. Where? Oh, there it is. Give me the feathers. Also, let's sell crap. I'm gonna sell the thrill boots because they seem really bad. Metapod. <laughs> is Metapod really... Oh, and no, you said Jirashi is really your favorite. Uh, Saw this laughing fungus crap. I mean, that's really all I can freaking sell. I'm freaking loaded. I got over fifty grand. Four times. So you can have eight times? I never got this? I got a side crystal. He said characters, not Pokemon. Wait, who's Metapod the character? Bum ba da da. Do 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 do. Bum ba da da. Hey, where's the jail? Oh, this is it, right? It's... I've been way too busy ever since you captured Briggs. It's so boring here when there's no one to go... Okay, yeah, I know. Uh, yes. I read this before. Wait, what? Can I use sand here? No. It looks sandy, but okay. The character named Rice in someone's nuzzle playthrough. Nice, Mr. Rice. What are my options here? What if I tremor the key? It is moving around like it, I can interact with it. Um... Uh, um, um... Burst open the door! <laughs> Wait, what? Can I even do anything here? Well, Alice said to go here, so yeah. Probably. I mean, I see there's, there's a box back there. Well, 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 I don't know what to do. Can't just scoop it up, that doesn't work, right? That would be dumb. Okay, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> nothing, dude, nothing. Perhaps it's somewhere else I need to be. What do you think about Hoffman? It sucks. Actually, it's got great music, so it's awesome. <sighs> Mia is fish mole. I don't understand the fish mole emotes. Head south. I already did like all this crap, I think. 
Oh, yeah, 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 I can... Oh, wait a second, I need to fix the ship, right? I still haven't fixed the ship, guys. The glorious ship. Perhaps this is the answer. So last time we, like, fixed most of it, but we couldn't fix the, uh... The cracked rock there. How do I... Wait, how do I get, get down there? Uh... <laughs> oh, here we go. Alice didn't stream. Well, maybe he didn't want to stream, Mr. Rice. Mr. Rice, you haven't streamed crap. <laughs> Burst this rock. Ah, oh, yeah, explode it. <laughs> we fixed the ship. Now what? <laughs> I think it's fixed. I don't know, actually. Oh, I could have just jumped like that the whole time. The only games I play are YouTube and Miyagoo stream. Nice! Stream... Reaction stream. <laughs> hey, that block on the mast has disappeared. Hey, now I can raise the mast and use the sail again. Hey, mate. Let's go tell the mayor the good news. Yeah, let's do that. Ba 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 boo boo. <laughs> what is it, Elio? What are you so excited about? It's true. The block that was pinning the mast down is gone. You were the ones who did it, weren't you? Yes, I was. I knew you would do it someday. Still, Briggs will be pleased when he hears about this. Happy face. Let's go tell him. Alright, now. Now we can make some progress. I still just can't quite believe that the stone block on top of the mast has totally vanished. Angry face. I'm telling you, Mayor. You saw it with my own eyes. I mean, I didn't see it, but it's gone. If you don't believe us, you can go see for yourself. Huh? What? Whoa, hey! It's gone. That huge block is really gone. Excellent news, Mayor. Unfortunately, the Mayor of Madra will probably take try to take it from us now. But that can wait. Who was able to move the block? It was me. It was me! <laughs> Surprised to see us, Mayor. Did you do this? We left Alhafra some time ago, but we just returned and destroyed the stone block. Exploring what brought you back to Alhafra right now? Well, this guy called OS Alice 2 told me to come here. <laughs> Sash had a hunch that we might be needed here. Mayor, not to interrupt, but shouldn't we begin repairs on your ship now? Yes, yes, you're right, of course. Gather the townspeople and get them to work on the mast. 
Yes, sir, we're on our way, sir. We shouldn't need too many people to raise the mass. All right, I'm counting on you. Destroying that zone must have been quite the challenge. Well, not really. Why don't you come back to my manor and get some mess, okay? You're too kind to me, I'd be happy to. We did it, we beat the game! Oh wait, not really. Thanks, Mayor. You keep a fine house. A fine house indeed. Don't be silly. You've done us a great deed. <laughs> it was the least I could do. Even if he gets the bow fixed, I don't think he's going to hand it over to Madra. I agree, he's being way too nice for me not to be a little suspicious of him. Angry face. I'm sorry, did you girls have something you'd like to share with us? Uh, no, 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 sir. No. <laughs> I see. Well, what's happening? Uh... It's gone sepia tone. Heart. Angry face. Jump, jump. Sad face. Are they actually cutting dialogue out now for explaining? They're finally doing this. <laughs> Jaya, how are the repairs coming along? Things seem to be moving slowly down there. My lord, these things take time. Sir, there's a problem. Calm down, man. You're a soldier. What are you so flustered about? Briggs destroyed the prison and escaped with his pirates. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, it's the freaking... <laughs> it's the... Ocean battle song. What, were you asleep while this was going on? D don't be silly. How could Briggs possibly break out of our prison? It's one of the strongest in Ocinia. I don't know what happened, but before I knew it, they'd smashed a hole in the wall. Mayor, the mast has been raised. Hey, this song's so good. Hey, what's up? Wait, you're supposed to be guarding the prisoners. What happened? It appears that Briggs has escaped, and I bet he's gonna take the, the ship. <laughs> what are you standing around for? Search the area. Find Briggs at once. It might not be quite that easy. He has a pirate after all, a famous one. Enough of that. Move it. Regardless, I'm going to go inspect my boat. Oh, and Sash and his crew were there too, weren't they? I treated you like an honored guest in my home. Angry face. Usually one feels a certain obligation to those who do them such a kind service. So don't just stand there, return the favor and find me breaks. Okay, asshole. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I fixed your boat, and that's the whole reason that you were giving me such hospitality. <laughs> Let's go see the boat. The mayor of Alhafra certainly does know how to look out for his own interests, doesn't he? That's one way of putting it, cheeky he angry face. Well, so what do we do? Do we go after Prince? Yeah, probably. I don't feel like you have to do them any favors. Sash can decide for himself what to do. At the very least, I want to go see the sailing ship now that it's fixed. Let's just go outside and take a quick look. Why do I feel like it's going to be gone? <laughs> Why do I feel like the ship is going to be gone? Oh, the freaking the shop dudes are gone. I heard you made it so we could fix our sailboat. Is there anything you can't do? Oh, everybody has new dialogue? Jesus. I'm just standing guard in case Briggs decides to attack the mayor's manor. I wonder where Briggs and his crew went. There's no sign of them anywhere. The mayor was actually singing and skipping when he went to the dock. He seemed so pleased. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but whenever you show up, trouble happens. 
Nah, I don't know what you mean. While they're blocking me, so I can't move down. If Briggs is smart, he's probably long gone from El Hafra, if you ask me. Ever since we heard Briggs broke out of jail, we're all a bit nervous. Our sailboat looks fabulous. With its master pad, you really should go check it out. I've been waiting for this day for years. I can't wait to set sail across the eastern sea. I don't know why everyone's so excited about fixing the ship. We promised it to Madra, didn't we? With that ship, Al Hafra is going to become a big, important trading town. We'll all be rich! Weird, have you, have you ever had the feeling that someone just passed by? Maybe it's just me. The whole town is grateful to you. Without your help, we couldn't have fixed the mast. Huge boats carry more, but we need smaller ships to catch the wind. Mary just doesn't understand this. Once that stone was taken care of, it was really quite easy to raise the mast again. The secret to harnessing the wind's power is building a small ship. Large ones cannot do it. Oh look, everyone's dead. One of these things always happen to me. How could this happen to me? <laughs> Stupid brakes. And look, the ship is gone. How did I know? Briggs, where are you taking my boat? He's attempting to steal it! Thief! Thief! He's already gone, dude. Did you call me a thief? Dude, he's so far away. I paid for this boat fair and square. I'm no thief. You're the thieves. You tried to take our boat away after we paid you so much for it. What is this music? Island Paradise music? You're the one who stole our boat! Ahoy, Briggs! Uh-oh, it's Sash. Sad face, you're not afraid of them, are you? Look how far away they are. There's no way they can catch us now. Lightbulb, you're right. They're stuck on this land, and we've got this boat. They can't catch us. What would they do, swim? You're right. They can't board us from way over there. Wasn't there something you wanted to do the next time you saw Sash? A failure. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot. It's all you've ever talked about when you're in jail. I love the quadra question marks. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So now's your chance. Do what you swore to do. Blah. <laughs> Is that the best you can come up with? But Chacha... They're an awfully tough bunch. Got them. <laughs> See, it's that attitude right there. That's why you'll never amount to anything. Dang. Savage. Hey, Sash, you guys take care. And keep El Hopper safe from thieves and pirates. And politicians, too. <laughs> what? I doubt we'll ever meet again, but if we do, remember this. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. That may have been a bit much. If you make him mad, he might chase us right back to Champa. Hmm, what a thought. Wonder where I should go next, guys. What? You let Briggs get away? You and your friends talk a good game, but when trouble happens, where are you? Well, isn't this a fine mess? A fine mess indeed. My prize ship, stolen by a bunch of filthy pirate scum. Dang! This guy is an asshole. <laughs> They're gone and you let them escape. Angry face. You guys have royally botched this one. This ruins everything. You all ought to be ashamed. All of you were cowering, while I was the only one to stand up to them. All of you. I'm going back to my manor. 
shaking my head, and you, Sash, I am extremely disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. There will be no reward for you, Sash. Well, feels bad, man. You let that brick steal my ship. You're lucky I don't lock you up in his stead. Ah, I've had enough of this. Don't just stand there with your mouths gaping. Get out of here. S my head. <laughs> we don't have a boat, so there's no reason for anyone to be here at this port. Return to town. He's pissed. No reward for me. What an awful person. Do you suppose he's always this sen self-centered? Yes. Yes, he's terribly ir irritating. You're quite right, Sash. I'll wager Briggs returning to Champa personally. Well, it doesn't matter. I think I've had enough of this town. Shall we be leaving? Great, let's leave as soon as possible. Ah, uh, so much dialogue. Alhafra is the town of dialogue. We have to store what food we can get from the mayor and only eat a little bit at a time. When is this house going to be finished once and for all? The repairs are taking forever. Well... It's a bad time over here. <laughs> Now Briggs has taken the boat and sailed off to Champa. It felt so great when the whole town joined together to get those boat repairs done. And now the boat's gone. There are a lot of houses in need of repair. Mom was happy to hear the repairs are coming along nicely. The thing is, they're not. After all this, I now understand how difficult it is to be a carpenter. <laughs> oh yeah, it seems pretty hard. The Titanic gone missing. Do you have new stuff? Ask me anything that's all the... No, it's all like the same garbage. After we did all that work to fix the mast, someone goes and steals our boat! We never should have fixed it in the first place! It was great to see everyone in town working to raise the mast. Too bad the boat got stolen. Back before Briggs destroyed the bridge to the west, it was a lot easier to trade with Madra. Alhafra lost its ship and now we're nothing but a big boring town in the middle of Ocinia. Feels bad, dude. At least you got good music. Ba ba da da do do oh, I can't even go to his mayor or the manor. The mayor of Hal Al Hafra does not wish to meet with you. Fine. Oh hey, this guy's moved. Briggs came through here and disappeared into the forest. Scared the pants clean off of me. Whoa, it's a cave. It's new content. I like the look of those. Oh, harpies. Are these like, these are like trash, right? Oh yeah, they're trash. They're hardcore trash. Sacred feather it is then. Hit him with a pound. Oh man. Well, we got lash, thank god. <laughs> nice broken bridge. Three chests for me. This better be amazing. I got the I I X Ixion Mail. I, I don't know, dude. And a lucky metal. 
And 120 Bitcoins. One, two, three. Easy as that. Easy as ABC. Resist wind and water. Okay. Well, losing three defense for resisting is probably worth it, I guess. Oh, but I lose luck, actually. Never mind. Screw that. <laughs> Man, all these upgrades are like trash tier. Like, they're not even upgrades. What gifts? I guess. Well, I don't know, actually. Um, okay. What's up with the random locks here? It's so annoying to get frost because I have to like stand by like all my gin. Alright, there we go. Can I parch this? That's douse, not parch, you dum dum. No. I don't really understand what I can parch and I can't parch. It seems, uh, I don't know, questionable sometimes. I got seven, 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 seven points. I got a psych crystal. I got a potion. Oh, this is a lot of okay stuff, I guess. Oh, look at that. We've made it into Briggs's place. I got some power bread. Boosts maximum HP. I sure love a good loaf of bread at night. <laughs> you guys ever just eat a whole loaf of bread? Midnight snack. Midnight, four pounds. I guess that's everything down here. Yeah, it's probably fine. Off to Champa. This game could use like a fast travel system. <laughs> no, my goodness. Yeah, me neither. I don't even like eating bread by itself, I don't know. I think it's just okay. And there's definitely worse things. Straight north to Champa. Yeah, this game has a lot of sailing. <laughs> this is like a Wind Waker concept right here. This is what they use this game for. Not that sailing is bad, but... They could have gone with, like, putting the islands a little bit closer to each other. At least in my opinion. Here we are, we've made it to Champa. Finally, we can do stuff here. Oh, Baba is the last possessor of the ancient secrets of Ancol, a long lost civilization. There's nothing she can't fix. Oh, yeah, I can use her as a blacksmith too, huh? Now, nobody has to do anything he or she doesn't want to do. We owe Briggs a lot of thanks. Briggs came back with a giant load of food. I've never been so full, it feels great. Those bags are full of food for the people of Champa. Briggs gave them to us. Briggs fought the odds to bring us jewels and food. He's an amazing leader. Is he? Let's see them call Champa poor now. 
Ever since Briggs came back with a cargo of gems, we've been filthy stinking rich. I want to play with Leolio, but he never comes down to the harbor anymore. Okay, I can't do that. Feels bad. Briggs took a long time to return to us, wanna know why? He was being held by an evil man who stole his money and made him a prisoner. They were probably trying to find Briggs' jewels. The sea is a rough place. Whoa, your sash! What, really? It's sash? Sad face, you're awfully persistent, aren't you? Briggs, get out of here! Sash is here to finish you off! What was that, Sash here? Oh no, it's really him. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> They're just peacing out, dude. Come back, I just want to talk to you. Alright, I surrender. I'll go back to Al Hafra. But only if Briggs is going. Why do you have to be so stubborn? Quit following us, you big bully. Wow, Bible thump. Wait, you wanna come in, yeah? As if. I'm a nice girl, and I'm not about to let some masher come storming into my room. R slash nice girls. I have checked all these rooms when I first came here. I want to mind read her and see what she says. Tough or not, he's not getting past me without a beating. Oh yeah, girl? You wanna freaking fight? Boss fight against r slash nice girl. I'd rather fight than go back to jail. Bring it on, sissy boy! You're Sash, aren't you? You've come to bring in Briggs. People just aren't very nice here to me, are they? Whoops. Oh man, I hate that crap. <laughs> Did you really think you could come storming into Champa? Briggs is home without a fight? Nobody's fighting me. <laughs> Leave the women and children alone. They've got nothing to do with this. Well, jeez, dude. I just want to talk. Do I hang out with Mr. Briggs? Oh, come on. I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. Oh, I can't mind read him. Briggs is pretty tough. This guy must be a serious monster if he beat the captain. Sash is a monster. <laughs> Hold it right there. So, Sash, you've come. Don't assume I'll go easy on you this time. Is that boy him? The mighty warrior you told me about? Ah, oh, scary music. I told you he didn't look like much, Grandma. Weren't you even listening to me? All you told me is that his name is Sash and that he is a mighty warrior. You've seen this scenario before? He doesn't look like the sort of person who's interested in stealing our jewels, though. But that's not the point, Grandma! If you don't destroy him now, he's gonna take me far away and he won't ever see me again. But he doesn't look like the one or the kind of boy to do that. If he takes me away, poor Eolio will be so sad. What do you say about that? Jeez, Briggs, you freaking guilt tripping? <laughs> well, that's just not fair. I can't deny my darling great grandson. I don't see why I should be the one to get you out of this mess. But I can't bear to see Eolio sad. Grandma, please. Alright, listen, you have no idea what you're getting into. I think you better leave. 
Uh, yeah, I need to save. Ah, you made a good decision. You seem like a reasonable boy. Reasonable boys live longer. <laughs> oh, the game actually lets me save. You know it's gonna be a tough fight. Back for more. I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for Ilio. Alright, here we go. Stubborn, are you? If that's the way it's gonna be, get ready for your medicine. Heart of the Earth, Fury of the Forge's Flames, grant me power! What's going on? Oh god. Boss fight against Avi Mander. Salamander.avi. <laughs> Probably a fire monster, huh? Ah, oh, we got this. We got this, guys. It's gonna be easy. That thing looks weak. Yeah, it's super weak. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. <laughs> Mr. Cannon, <laughs> wild Pokemon. Dead plunge. Is this the final boss? No, not even close. Raiden's Wrath! Stormine! Oh! Okay. He's getting two attacks. Multiple attacks is cheat. I'm pretty sure, like, only the... The final boss and the super boss in Golden Sun 1 did that. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty much... Golden here, though. Hide away to avoid damage. Wow, that's a cool thing. Death plunge. I like the idea of a little cat here just freaking picking up this massive lizard. I can probably go with that healing. Where are my summons? Ulysses. That's right, that's me, right? Two water, two fire. Strike with the power of Mars. Honestly, Ulysses. Go, cannon! 105 damage. Oh god. Oh god. That was, uh, almost monk ass. Almost, almost. Counter an enemy's attack. Reflux. Ready for counter attack. Death plunge. Star mine. Oh god. When will you 1v1 shooting me in TF2? That's a good question, Cannon. What when when's that gonna happen? I 
think we got this. I wish Wells was too good, right? It really is, like, actually good. Fiery Blast! Oh, you know what? Let's see. Let's use... Uh, oh, let's do this. Create a watery shield. Give us a turn of... Nothing, basically. Opponent cure. Starline. Why did I reduce damage? I mean, it still does decent damage, actually. And legendary wandering mage. And... Nice grammar game. <laughs> Here it is, Ulysses. Wow. That's pretty cool. 313, that was like nothing. Starline. Fire beam. Oh my god, I died. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. That's not supposed to happen. Because he has like regen cards. Oh, I didn't get XP! Why does that happen? <laughs> Are you serious? My salamander, you beat my salamander. Oh, I just exploded. <laughs> I thought he was unbeatable. How could this be? How did you do that? What? What are you? Grandma, what's going on? I thought you were going to protect me. What do you mean? What am I doing? I've done everything I can. Grandma, he's going to take me away. He's a bad guy. You have to do something. Jeez. Briggs. You have to fight him yourself. What? You heard me. I'm through pampering you. You have to get out of this yourself. He's actually baby raging. But Grandma, look at him. I mean, come on, look what he can do. I know, dear, but there's nothing I can do to help. You don't want him to take you away, right? But what about poor Iolio? Ah, <sighs> all right, all right. Uh, excuse me, there seems to be a little uh, misunderstanding. This guy, I know, right? He just freaking guilt trips his grandma into freaking doing everything for him. Yeah, I don't like standing here and listening to a pirate call us the bad guys. Pirate? My Briggs? He stole a ship from Al Hafra and escaped from their jail. A ship we helped fix. Briggs, is this true? But grandma... We should tell you, we're not here to take Briggs back to Al Hafra. So you've decided you don't want to run errands for the mayor, I guess. <laughs> Good, that greedy bag of hot air can do his own dirty work, for all I care. Briggs, piracy. Why? Oh god. Grandma, it's not what you think. These guys, they. Briggs, you just hush up. You're gonna get some spankings. It all makes sense now. The gems, the food, your absence. What do you mean? What makes sense? Kick him into the well? You mean the forge of fiery hotness? They're telling the truth. And you, Briggs. You've been lying to me this whole time.
You got that right. I should have known better than to believe you, you scoundrel. He only did it for Champa. Swift rage kicks. No, we paid for everything we brought back with us. But you stole a boat to do it, didn't you? Grandma, we found those jewels ourselves, and we paid all half our well for that ship, didn't we? No. So he's lying again. Dang it, Sash, I'm not lying. We were pirates for a short while, until we found the jewels. But if not for our efforts, Champa would have starved away long ago. But that does not excuse resorting to piracy. Hey, it's not like we were doing it for the money, we wanted to save Champa. Those jewels we found were very valuable. We intend to repay each town we <laughs> borrowed from. Isn't that true? What's the matter with you? You said on the boat that we would repay every last town. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we really ought to try to make amends for what we've done. That's the truth, grandmother. Can you find it in your heart to forgive your own grandson? Alright, alright, I'm too old for grudges. But what about Sash? Watch Detective Pikachu, it's in HD now. You mean pirating, Mr. Go? What do you say, Sash? Can you forgive my husband? I agree, Sash. If each town is repaid what was stolen, I see no reason for complaint. Do you hear that? They forgive you, too. That means you can leave Eolia with nothing to fear. I don't know what to say. You know, you look a little strange. Oh, really? You haven't caught a cold, have you? Do you have a fever? What are you talking about? No, I'm positive. You look flushed, too. You better lie down before it gets worse. She worries about me. She's bailing you out, dude. Please. Oh, for goodness sake, you don't want to give them your cold, do you? Come on! Yeah, nice bailout. <laughs> so what brings you to Champa? I mean, you didn't come here to catch Briggs, from what I gathered. Ah, well, to be young and foolish again. If you ever need to consult with me on any number of subjects, you're welcome anytime. Okay. Oh, this is where I do the trident thing. This looks like a weapon. It looks like part of a trident, but it's only one third of the whole thing. I have all three pieces. Could it be? Is this the legendary trident of Ankle? I'll hold on to this for you. It won't do any good, like this, and I'll keep it safe here. You seem unsure. You don't think I'll pull a fast one on you, do you? Nah, probably not. If you bring me the other two pieces, I'll be happy to rebuild it for you. Well, what a coincidence. Here you go. Have you found the second piece, dear? It's magnificent. I'll hold on to this as well. Only one to go. Well, here you go. Well done, you found all three pieces of the trident. That means I can begin work reforging the ancient trident of Ankle. She's gonna steal it? I don't think so. She seems like a nice lady. We'll just toss all three pieces in here, shall we? Go for it, go for it. 
Heart of the Earth, Fury of the Forge's Flames, grant me power. That's funny, nothing happened. Oh! What's going on? Uh... Is that the legendary trident? Whoa, there it is! But what's making it float like that? Regardless, the trident has been fixed. It belongs to you now, Sash. Use it well. Oh yeah, give it to me. Dude, Zion Square 5 is dead. The trident seems to have some amazing power. The legends must be true. No matter what you encounter at sea, no monster can stand against you with that trident. Let me freaking... Oh, there we go, okay. Sash got the trident! Just the trident, huh? Is it an actual weapon? A weapon with a unique purpose. Well, it gives you resistance. <laughs> Wait, where's my... Oh, okay, yeah, it's just like... So I'm dual-wielding Trident and Miss Saber right now. Trident sucks. What's up, Pythagorean Theory? I gotta repair this freaking rusty staff. I thought I'd be able to do this with her, but I guess not. We got the new Queen of Atlantis, Cat herself. Well, I'm guessing I should probably go to that misty island now. That is probably where I need to go, I would assume. Does that mean Isaac is king? Oh yeah, because they like, they want to bang, huh? Why did you have to go and tell Obaba that we were pirates? I'll bet that really upset her. I just know she's going to yell at us. The waiting is the worst part, next to the yelling. Nice. When Briggs set sail, we thought we'd never see him again. Now, all of a sudden, he shows up and... ...and with enough food to save our town forever. Briggs is an alright guy, he's just confused. <laughs> he wants to save the town. Aren't you the ones who caught Briggs and Alhafra? You don't look it, but you're pretty tough. I think those guys down in the harbor wanted to come up here and join us. All they have to do is ask. But I think they're chicken. All those sailors who didn't join Briggs said they didn't want to be pirates. Now that Briggs is going straight, they want to join him. I think they're just cowards. Maybe they are. Yeah, let's rest at the end, because... Youch. Oh, what? Okay. I was like, excuse me? No in-resting after a freaking boss fight? Please? It's nice not having to work, but it gets a little boring after a while. Jeez, first world problems, lady. Mind reading that's invasion of pri privacy. I almost said piracy because of like all the pirate stuff going on right now. Invasion of piracy. Where did Briggs run off to? They said he was going to his room, right? I should check that out. 
I want to talk to him, see what he says. I don't know which room is his, though. We really want to make amends. We just need breaks to get better. It's all my fault. If I hadn't messed with that switch, we'd have gotten everything. We're gonna wait until Briggs feels better before going out to sea again. There are plenty of treasures on that island in the middle of the sea. Aw, oh, let's go. I want all the treasures. Where is Briggs' room? They have so much food. You're not Briggs. Hmm. Not in there. And this is just the, uh... Just the forge, right? Yeah, there's no other room this way. Briggs has gone missing. He has some secret freaking room, apparently. Or I'm just blind. Oh, here we go. I wonder what's wrong with Briggs. He was feeling so healthy and happy. He doesn't have a fever, and he's not coughing. But he says he's too weak to walk to go out. Once I'm over my cold, I'm setting out to get more jewels and make amends with Madra and Dela. Oh, the baby can talk. One of Papa's men touched a trap. And that's why Papa couldn't get all the jewels. I think you should tell Sash about that. I'm certain that there are more jewels back in that cave. If only I'd have the chance to grab a few more before the trap blocked her way. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Briggs. I just know he's hiding something from me. Hmm... Hiding something... A pirate hiding stuff? No, say it ain't so. That waterfall looks kinda weird right there. I guess I'm going to, uh, the Misty Island. Back to sailing. I mean, I've been, like, almost everywhere else. I haven't been up here yet, but I don't even think I can get up there, because it's, like, surrounded by rocks. If only I had the power to fly. But sadly, no such power is possible at the moment. Come sail away. So there was like a little entrance down here with like some rocks or something. Yeah, right here. Just gonna save just in case because I don't know what's gonna happen. The Sea of Time! Oh god, what is this? <laughs> oh, j okay. Uh, hold on to the tiller. Do you want us to get swallowed by the waves? I know you're worried, Shihihi. But he's doing the best he can. That was an incredibly strong whirlpool. But I doubt it could sink us or destroy the ship. See, she he he, there's nothing to worry about. Even if we hit a whirlpool, we would be fine. But still, Zion is for fine. Can't you show Sash how to get past the whirlpools? Yeah, so well, um... What's wrong? Lemuria is just beyond these whirlpools, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think so. What do you mean you think so? <laughs> Aren't you from Lemuria? Shouldn't you know exactly where this is? Yeah, I'm from Lemuria. I never had to get back into it before. And besides, the tidal wave carried me out of Lemuria. I didn't come through here. 
I see, so that must mean you don't actually know which direction Lemuria is in, do you? Don't be silly, I mean, I just need to get my bearings, it's fine. That doesn't sound too good. If Lemuria really is beyond these currents, then we'll need to find a way to get through them. Until we do, we won't be getting into Lemuria. What do you mean I can't go this way? That's not right, right? Wait. Oh god, oh god, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, can I even do this right now? What is this? What is this freaking, like, whirlpool... Whirlpool garbage. What's happening? Kids, oh man. The kids song? I don't remember that crap. Oh, I I honestly don't know it. I have to freaking like write it down or something. <laughs> also, that's some really scary music. Kids song? Where was that? It was in Yowen, wasn't it? Alright guys, Cannon, write it down for me. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? I have given you the job of writing it down. <laughs> you don't need to remember... No you don't, you will not remember this. Look at this crap, dude. Do you know how much crap you have to remember for this? It's ridiculous, actually. Alright. Flash Edge. It's what, Cannon? You gotta go around, you know? No, I don't know, actually. Oh, I have to go. We do have to go around. Eight paces. <laughs> no, I'm gonna freaking go look at the song, and you guys gotta write it down, chat for me. See, is it this way? Yeah, it should work. Right now it's down and then... Ah. Oh, it's not even on this freaking ocean. Didn't I use a sacred feather? I guess not. X marks the spot. If only it was that easy, Cannon. But watch this, watch this. I'll get there in a couple minutes. And you'll see. Look at that weird glitchy pixel then. Every time, dude. Here we go. It's time. Well, it's almost time. I gotta get through, like, some garbage here. Alright, here we go. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? This is the dumbest thing, actually. <laughs> here we go. If you want to go to the stars, I don't know what that means. <laughs> go north past the twins. Look at this crap, dude. It's like in, in cryptic English, too. Past the twins, passing two swirls, and run diesel twice around the trunk. What does diesel even mean? Okay, so clockwise twice. Are you guys writing this down? No one's writing it down for me. I'm disappointed in my chat right now. Haste without waste. Head to the east, pass three to the north. Wait for the waves. To like, <laughs> good luck. Can't you supposed to help me here? It's two and then three. Just write down the number of times I have to freaking go clockwise. Please. Alright, I'll write it down. You guys are no, no help to me. Two... Three. There you go, Cannon. Thank you. 
Erase, full of falling and take the wrong way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, then you have to, like, go in the right direction, too, right? So it's like, oh god. Two east... Three... North. I guess. Face west from the stars. So this is west. And then... And run straight past three swirls and then circle around twice. Head to the south and then one swirl left. My god, how do they expect you to freaking memorize this crap? Run around three times. Okay, okay. Good game design. This is this is kinda bad, yeah. Circle twice. Head to the west and six to the north. Run around three times. And then go okay. Oh my god. This is gonna take me like 30 minutes to actually get. This is actually gonna take me like 30 minutes. Oh wait, while I'm here, I might as well do the freaking. Yeah, it's two, three. It just alternates every time, I guess, huh? Might as well repair some of our crap. I can't believe, like... <laughs> like, why is it so complicated, dude? What is the reason for this being so complicated? Why can't I just use my trident and just, like, teleport there? I got a Draco Mace! That sounds cool. Unleashes aging gas! <laughs> what? <laughs> aging gas? Aging gas? Hey guys, want some aging gas? <laughs> oh god, that's so like bad. Ah, my ears, the crackling, dude. Please get me out of here. <laughs> Just like some songs are really bad on it for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, well, th I think this is the last thing we have, so... Maybe we'll get that silk rapier. Oh man, we got fairy vests. Yalom is good game design. Use your sword 200 HP. Better than that. <laughs> Having to leave village to get get stuff. Stupid songs to remember. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Let me try to clear out some inventory here, because my inventory is just packed full. Not what I wanted. <clears throat> this thing is garbage. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Zionist for five is pretty good because we got rid of the trident pieces. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Alright, so now we have to go through the freaking sea of deadness, whatever it is. And it's gonna be a nightmare, guys. It's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> I am not gonna freaking do this, right? <laughs> oh, man. Sacred Feather runs out just as I get in the boat, so I have to... Yeah. Please. Please. Just don't. Bye, glitchy pixel. Man, I can't wait to get all the way up here and just fail this over and over. <laughs> Maybe it's not as bad as it seems. I don't know. It seems pretty bad, though. It seems kinda bad. Can I waste freaking like three second feathers just to get over there? That's how I measure distance in sacred feathers. This place takes three sacred feathers to get up up to. Alright, here we go. So Let's go around this thing. Why is it glowing? Oh, okay. I went twice. Did it work? Wait, I don't even know if it works or not. Like, why does it keep sparkling? Oh, there we go. <gasps> it worked. Wait, 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 what? 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 Is this a joke? Is this a joke to you? Oh, nice, my sacred feather glitched it, nice. This is gonna be so much fun. Does that mean I went the wrong way? I think it means I went the wrong way, guys. Oh my god. This is the worst part of the game. Hands down. What were they thinking? <laughs> Nobody got time to freaking write down every single little step that you have. Oh, maybe I did go the right way. I stand. I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. <laughs> You're so happy this is happening. It instantly freaking goes away! Is this a joke? What if I just like glitch it? Uh... Where am I going? Guys, I'm lost. I think I went the wrong way. But I think I glitched it out, so it's fine. <laughs> Five swirls east. <laughs> oh, it's the start. Are you serious? Like, come on. This is... This is bad. I must be doing something wrong. There's no way that it's this bad. This is like, actually... Terrible, dude. Let me in. Can I not get in there? Oh, my God. Oh, my. There we go. Okay.
and they make you freaking run three times. Like, is this really necessary? Is this really necessary? Okay. We made it to the star, guys. That's part one of safe city. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You can freaking yell at me all you want. Don't save state. I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's the next one. Where am I going? I am going down, but it's too late now. This has got to be like some sort of sick joke. Who made this? Oh boy. Oh boy. Just let me in there, dude. Oh my god, this is like... This is painful. There we go. Am I even going the right way? Is this new? I don't know. Am I going backwards somehow? Oh, I need to start down there. Oh my god, this is annoying. But they don't give you a lot of time, so you have to be, like, right at the bottom. I made it to the moon. Alright, yes. Thank God. <laughs> now where am I going? Probably not that way. Wait a second, isn't this the one that's like... at the beginning? Or maybe it's not. Save, save? Mr. Rice, you want to watch me freaking sit here all day? Dude, I'm right, go for it. Yes. You kind of do? Well, I don't. I thought you knew me like you're suffering. Now I have to go up, but uh... Yeah, about that. I think this is like the last part, so... You should've went for it. I don't know about that one. Now I'll go for it, let's go. Yes! Wait, why is there more? Why is there more? I thought I was done. Ah, oh, I'm done. What is this? Okay, it's a freaking boss fight. Beside in himself. The last boss. Ken, this is not the last boss. He wants to try it. He already has it, dude. It's in his freaking hands. Well, well, well. Diner Square Pie is so bad right now. He's definitely the weak, weak link of the party. Yeah, cat, just let's protect it by a force shield. Um. Typhoon Blow! Alright, I think I could use the trident. Aha! The Trident! Trident! 
trident power! Oh! Cool animation! 253 damage! Force field is broken! Ocean Fist! Oh my god! It's one of those moves. Watery Grave! Recipe Shee! That's pretty cheesy. I feel pretty cheese. Counter rush. Uh oh. Um, um, I didn't mean to. Aha, dodge. She, he has been revived. It's not that bad, guys. We got this. Can I use the trident multiple times? Trident power! Oh yeah, dude, this is so much damage. I should have given the trident to Zion score 5 because it's useless. Ocean Fist. Trident's wrath. Typhoon Mouth! Taste the power of my bubbles. Never a bubbly. Use for some magical luck. Um, I'm curious, but also scared. I only see what it does. Trident power! Phantasmal mail does nothing, okay? It does nothing, guys. I'm disappointed. I wish I could just give this to Zionist for five. Counter rush. Two boss fights in one stream? Wow. That's how you know we're progressing in the game. <laughs> Planet Diver. He's not too bad. My strategy is too good. It's too good, guys. Wish well is too broken, to be honest. Oh, I didn't use the trident again. Whoops. Oh, I'm doing a lot of damage per turn here. Apply well. I don't know, my attack is turning normal. Let's fix that, shall we? Highest of impacts! Does this even affect the skills like Planet Diver and stuff? I think it does. Not sure, I want to use High Impact again to see if my damage changed. Lottery Grave! I'm gonna take a risk here and not heal because I'm, I'm, I want some science. I want some research in my life. Here we go. Hey, it does increase damage. Look at that. Ocean Fist! Ow. Yeah, that increases damage too. Typhoon Blow. I mean, I still have two healers here, but perhaps in the future when I have more gin. He's got to be going down pretty soon. I'm doing like 600 damage per turn almost. Give him back his trying. I'm giving it to him, dude. It's just like he's weak against it now. So what if you came here without the train? You just lose, and you, you did all that shitty puzzle for nothing. We have to come back here and do it again. <laughs> That's pretty bad, actually. I'm dead. 
We killed him with a trident. Sorry, Crystal. What's going on? Somehow him dying has created rocks. <laughs> I guess. What's the point? We made it! It's Lemuria! <sighs> Finally! Plot City! We've made it, guys. The legendary city of Lemuria. Other boats that look like mine. Yeah, I can go back and get that chest real quick. <laughs> if I really wanted to. Um, I don't really care about it. The music is so, like, almost sad. Look at the architecture here. Why, that was synergy, wasn't it? Are they adepts? Uh, hello? Who are you? Are you the ones who defeated Poseidon? Yes. That's quite something. Who are you? That you can defeat the Leviathan. If you are strong enough to defeat Poseidon, you are too dangerous to enter in Lemuria. The king's orders are clear. We cannot grant you entry. Excuse me? King? Who is your king? His Highness, King Hydros, of course. His Majesty has ruled over Lemuria for centuries. King Hydros? What kind of name is Hydros? Has decreed that Lemuria must be kept safe from dangerous outsiders. You say that we are dangerous, but you include me as well. That's right, we got a freaking Lemurian ourselves. Did you join them in battle against Poseidon? Impossible! Everyone knows you possess great courage, but you still are a mere Lemurian. Angry face. Such comments do us all a great disservice. I battled fiercely alongside my friends. Yeah, you tell him, Xi underscore Phi. Leave our landing to me. You have my word that we shall create no problems during our stay. Will you not permit us to enter? I know you are a man of your word, but the king's orders must stand. You understand that we cannot simply ignore the king's orders, right? What is King Hydra's doing? Do you people really take your kings seriously? Insolent pup! Do not dishonor the king of Lemuria. We are peaceful but quick to anger. Pup, I must be twice your age. Who are you calling pup? You wish to see Lemuria and yet you know so little of us. I am far older than you. Show respect. Older than me? Inconceivable. I am the oldest. <laughs> uh, actually, Graydon, these two are perhaps older than all of you combined. Babby must have spoken of, of this to you. And Lemuria, time passes quite slowly. Ah, uh, well, I suppose I recall something of this order on an earth, maybe. But to imagine for a moment that these two gentlemen are older than I am, it's a bit much. Graydon is so prideful of his age. But perhaps I was rude, and I hope you accept my apology. My ignorance misled me. Well, just so long as we're clear on that. But if your fighting is as skilled as your wordplay, then perhaps you aren't so dangerous to us. I agree. Perhaps His Majesty will provide an exception in their case. King 
Hydros must be willing to reverse his order if we confer with him, wouldn't he? We shall speak with him at once. King Hydros has been seeking news from beyond the Sea of Time. He will want to see you. Wait here. How long do you think we'll be waiting? Good point. Time means little to most Lemurians. Mere moments to us could seem like a lifetime to outsiders. You seem young to me, and yet you are probably an old man among your people. I would imagine that you have probably done enough waiting in your life lifetime. <laughs> King Hydros instructed us to be kind to the elderly at all times. They seem trustworthy enough. Shall we let them in? I can see no reason not to. We won't get in trouble, will we? It's fine. I'll be with them. Now please, let me walk the streets of my home once more. I beseech you. Alright, then we place our trust in each of you. You may enter, but don't do anything rash. If you cause any trouble, we'll hunt you down and exact swift and terrible vengeance. Lovely. Oh, finally. What could be waiting for me and Lemuria? I can't wait another moment. Kratos has been waiting his freaking whole life for this dude. I'll keep a close eye on them. You have nothing to fear. We place our faith in you then. Eat, enter freely and peaceably. You never say no, that's not true. You must already be aware of this, but you are not permitted to enter the palace. If the king were to find out about this, we'd be in big trouble. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. Is this Hydros really so fearsome? Fearsome isn't the right word. King Hydros has lived longer than anyone. He is most wise. While everyone respects him and holds him in great reverence, it would be a mistake to call it fear. I certainly do not fear him. The king, he, uh... He what? You will understand once you meet the king yourself. But that does not matter now. Let's go. To Lemuria, the city you've all been longing to see. Finally. Lemuria. It better be as cool as it sounds. Here it is. Wow, it's so steamy down here. I cannot remember the last time we had visitors in Lemuria. Not in a great while, certainly. More of the same today and every day. Nothing around here ever changes. War. War never changes. Jin. Mr. Ellis. The legendary Lemurian Ellis says there's a Jin here. No one in Lemuria feels any passion for anything. They're lazier than a cat in a sunbeam. Fine. I wanted to look at the gravestones. Lemuria has no disease, no war. Anyone who saw it would think it's a paradise. And yet, all who come to our city seek to leave soon after arriving. I too wish to leave. Zai underscore Fi, the legend himself, has finally shown up. Just in time to freaking meet his hometown, Lemuria. When you not grow old, it might seem odd to those from the outside world. Drinking from the spring restores vigor and vitality. Want to sip? Do you wish to test your luck at the Spring of Lemuria? Is this Lucky Metal? Ah, oh, yes! Lucky Metal time! Oh my god, it's the exact same thing. And yeah, it's totally Mr. Race. If you face away from the, street, the spring, toss in a coin, and land it in the target, good fortune will come. 
the spring of Lemuria. Face away and toss in a coin to test your luck. Toss in a lucky medal to improve your luck. Your favorite Pokemon in is underwater Bulbasaur? I remember an outsider who came to Lemuria and then spent days testing his luck at the spring. Alright guys, you think we're you think we're lucky? You think we're lucky? We got 12, 12 lucky medals. Here it goes. Dude, we suck. We actually suck. I got a floral dress. Catch the underwater Bulbasaur. Better. Shiny underwater Bulbasaur. I got the crown of glory. Give me some cool weapons. Wait, I. No, no, no. Lucky medals. Aw, oh, dude, that's right in the middle. Big money! That's like Omega Pachamp. Whoa, I got a summon? <laughs> what the hell? You can't just spit out a freaking summoning tablet. Shiny Paris. You can now summon Eclipse. Apparently, you can get summons from this. Back in the middle again. Did I get another summon? No, I get the Aegis Shield. Wasn't that in the first game? Sounds familiar. Oh, it's a purple turtle right in the middle again. I'm the best lucky metal thrower. I got. Erebus armor. Look at all this freaking cool stuff I'm getting just because I got all these lucky medals, guys. Now he's actually right in the middle. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great, time to score five. Wait, I already had that. Erebus armor again! What do you mean, freaking repeat? Where's the cool weapons? Why is it all armor? Well, that was terrible. Ah, I got a garbage potion. How are you doing, Mr. Zion's reply? Are you safe from that tsunami? That was somehow amazing and dodged all those turtles. Ah, here we go, a weapon. The Hestia Blade! Isn't Hestia some, like, waifu? From some anime? Rose of the Islanders. Oh no. Well, at least you're safe. Wait, I got another Hestia Blade. What the hell? Oh my god, repeats. Resident Sleeper. Hestia is a goddess. Greek mythology. Cat would know that. What is that? The wild coat. Here's Zionist for five. Take this cool coat. It's so wild. Oh man. More Erebus armor. Three of those? At least I got the summon. I can't imagine if they're putting like two summons in this, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Fireman's pole! It's Kingler. Let's look at all this cool stuff we got. Restore with HP. 
Raise the speed. That'd be interesting. Unleash this crucible fire. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Wait, what does the uh fireman's pole do? Use to resist elements. I guess we're using both casts your blades. Is Green Paris a super legendary shiny Paris? Yes. We have the Aegis Shield. Raises Evade? That seems pretty good, actually. Give the war gloves to somebody else. Actually, a cat is fine, yeah. Erebus Armor. Time to ditch your Luxa. You used to put enemies to sleep. How does a floral dress put enemies to sleep? Crown of Glory. Stores PP over time. Ooh, that's pretty good. Crap I got, guys. This is awesome. <laughs> Floral dress. Oh, the floral dress is not so great. I am disappointed. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, this is nothing now, right? Okay. Alright, I guess we're... I guess we're ready. I think that's basically everything. We have a wild coat, which could be really useful. But not right now. I mean, she, he, he's my healer, and... She's already, like, super fast, so I don't even think this is necessary. Well, that was cool. Well, Maria has the disease. Yes, 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 we talked to you before. Where's the shop? Oh, goodness. It's a dog. Look over here, this palace is magnificent. We lost some expensive pudding. Nice. Eating expensive things is good. Okay, I guess I'm forced to go this way. There's so much treasure buried here that you could, almost, you could dig almost anywhere and find something. So why doesn't anybody here dig? Is that true? Is that true? I didn't find no treasure, you liar. You lying dog. Pudding's pretty good. I like I enjoy me some vanilla pudding sometimes. This place is remarkable. Truly m remarkable. Who goes there? I've not seen you in Lemuria before. these guys here? <laughs> you must be the travelers who arrived with Zion to score five. If your name's... Is your name Sash, perchance? Zion to score five. You mean Zion to score five, the lost one. Have I earned a title in my absence? Well, worry not. Zion to score five is lost no more. He's here. This is like the most appropriate time for you to actually join Zion to score five. <laughs> I seek counsel of King Hydrus. Has His Highness been told of my return? Even the lore. Word was sent, but I do not know if it has reached the king. What do you mean? Lord Conservato. <laughs> Conservato? Is meeting with His Highness as we speak. Not conservato. What's wrong, Zion Scorpion? You don't look pleased to hear that name. Craden, what do you think of what you have seen of Lemuria? Well, it 
it's pretty, I guess. It's got, like, some nice, weird-looking water right there. That <laughs> doesn't look that great. He's playing the trash game. Mr. Ace, I'm glad to hear that you quit that game. It makes me happy. It is a magnificent city. Or do you mean the castle? Both are magnis magnificent. And you, Sash, do you agree? Cannon wants me to say no. Zion underscore five, do you agree that your, your city is magnificent? Say yes or no. Five bucks. You want me to save state? Your city is fabulous. Hella magnificent. Alright, I'll save state just for you, Cannon. I'll say no. Ah, yes, you marvel not at its present condition, but at the greater splendor of its past. Any newcomer to our town would doubtless feel the same at first. <laughs> In ages past, Lemuria was a far lovelier, more grand, and more lively city. His Highness, the King, tells of days gone by, of a more brilliant Lemuria, long before my birth. Over the countless years, our people have lost vigor, enthusiasm, creativity. Lemuria has fallen into a slow collapse, a city that has lost its spark. Lemuria as you see it, is only a shadow of the city of legend. If only I had the chance to see the city in all its splendor. But how does Conservato figure in? King Hydros believes that our decay is related in some way to alchemy. Alchemy? Oh my god, Kraden's getting real excited right now. <laughs> you said the magic word. King Hydros wants to find a way to stop the ruin of Lemuria. If there were anything we could do to help stop it, we would. But the Senators are unwilling to take action. They're stubborn, and they fear any change. Senate? What is a Senate? Oh boy. <laughs> the Senate is a group of elders who determine policy in Lemuria. Lord Conservato holds the highest office in the Senate. Lemuria has been poisoned by politics. The Senate usually opposes any new ideas or proposals introduced before it. That sounds about right. <laughs> Word of our arrival will never reach the king as long as Conservato has his ear. And his conversations with the king are incredibly long. They have no choice but to wait patiently here. Why don't we spend our time looking around Lemuria until then? Alright. I mean, I was gonna do that anyway, but thanks. <laughs> Life never changes here in Lemuria. It can get rather dull, you'll find. I've never been outside of Lemuria. I don't know what the rest of the world is like. If there weren't laws prohibiting us from leaving, I would be gone in an instant. Now that Zionist Grafi has returned, maybe he'll share his tales of the outside world with me. Whoa! Is that waifu Lemurian? The Senate passed a law that prohibits us from leaving. But Zionist Grafi was carried out to sea by the tidal wave. He can't be blamed for that. Or can he? How old am I again? I quit counting after 200 years. This game has cute art. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Are you the travelers that came here with Zion to five? Yes. I am sorry it has taken me so long to visit, Uncle. But he found his uncle. Yes, I've managed to survive against a great many trials. What a fascinating coincidence. We stumbled across Zion Square Fi's uncle's house. I must thank you all for looking after my nephew. <clears throat> the 
This is Sash and Creighton. They are my friends and have aided me tremendously. If my sister could only hear how timid young Zion Fi has become a mighty warrior. Or as my mother. We've been so busy since we arrived that I haven't had the chance to see her. I just noticed all the bottles in this guy's house. This guy's freaking just an alcoholic. Look at this crap, dude. <laughs> now that I think about it, this place is a mess. What happened? Mother is always so neat. No, she hasn't fallen ill again, has she? There is still illness in La Maria. My mother was born with a weak heart. Zai underscore Fi, I'm sorry. Your return comes too late. Oh no. After the tidal wave washed you to sea, your mother suddenly fell ill. The shock of losing you was too great for her poor heart. She held out hope for you to save for your safe return until the very end. Perhaps your mother gave herself up to ensure your survival. Does that not sound like your mother? Where is she now? She rests in the cemetery now. Check the headstones, you'll find her. Zion is square five. And yeah, dude. After all we've been through, the least we can do is offer Zion is square five our condolences. I'm so relieved that Zion is square five has returned to me alive. He is the last of my relatives. Without him, I would be alone. I lost him, he's at my party. Being born in Lemuria and gifted with long life, only to lose his father in his youth and his mother now, he faces many long years of loneliness. This guy freaking, this guy just drank himself away out of his sorrow. Wait. I ask that you leave Zion to score five to his mourning for now. He is struggling with the loss of his mother. He needs time. You came to Lemuria to learn more of alchemy, did you not? I suspected as much. Zyder Scorphia was right to bring you here. The mission he was given by His Highness, the King. Even had the tidal wave not carried Zyder Scorphia off, he would have left us. Such was his fate. Oh, a secret mission? No, he did not tell us about this. I can't understand why he would do that. If Lord Conservatil had not led the Senate to oppose him, he would have left sooner. I wonder what news Zion Scorphi has brought with him. Either way, I do not I do know why he has brought you here. Don't tell me that he hasn't at least told you that much. No. Did Zion Squirt Fi tell you nothing before bringing you here to Lemuria? Unfortunately, I know little more than that. While he confronts his sorrow over the loss of his mother, you have some time. I shall write you a letter. So that you can see Loonpa. Loonpa? Loonpa has locked himself in this tower and rarely comes out. But if I send him this, he will see you. Loompa sounds familiar. Wasn't that like a city in Golden Sun 1? All I need is a bird to carry it to Eminus Tower. Happy face. Bye, birdie. There, you should be able to see him now. All right, I guess. But where is this tower? House of the Senate. Are you the warriors from beyond the Sea of Time who turned with Zion to square by? Yes. What can you uncivilized louts hope to bring to Lemuria? 
Oh, you're you're a jerk, aren't you? Only savages and barbarians. Only savages and barbarians are wont to tell lies. When what? That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. I mean, is that a typo? Come what may, I cannot approve of anyone setting alchemy loose in the world. Mr. Rice, why are you pasting that? <laughs> Long ago, the power of alchemy was abused in ways that might bring around the end of the world. Hmm. So these are the old dudes. The old Senate dudes that don't know anything. <laughs> or maybe they know too much. Do you seek to know more about the droughts that provide us with such longevity? Lemurians bottled special dr Oh yeah, I remember that drought stuff. That was in the first game as well. A man named Batty stole the remainder of our precious droughts and fled Lemuria. Right, right. And then he died. <laughs> We're the only children in Lemuria. I often wish there were other children to play with. It has been many, many years since a new child was born in Lemuria. Lemurians love children, but they only remain children for such a short time. Hey, you probably have like a pretty bad uh, population problem in this place if you don't die very easily. Hey, how are you holding up, buddy? Mother, why have you left me? I mean, I shouldn't have mind read him. That's kind of rude. <laughs> Where is this tower I'm supposed to go to? Perhaps it's over here. If it weren't for the people in the castle, the Lemurians would probably let themselves starve. What do you mean, growth plants? Get out of the way, chicken! Oh, it's a growth plant downwards. Lemurians are so lazy that they make me look like a dynamo. And I live so long. Oh, it's so weird to have... Whoops, that's wrong. It's so weird to have only three dudes. Instead of my normal four party members. There's gotta be something down here, right? No. No. The gross plants can't be just for a cow. That's what I thought. Give me that hard nut. Give me that hard nut. Delicious hard nut. Who wants a hard nut? Sash wants some hard nuts. You come back to hear that. What are you talking about, Cannon? What are you talking about? Don't you eat, like, nuts? What is this place? Okay, I can't do anything there, I think. At least not right now. Use a power up there? Are you kids Zion underscore five's traveling companions? Oh, he's up there now. The door is broken. But I opened up a window just above the door. I already did this. You weren't up there. <laughs> Nice plot hole. I'm a 
up here now what? Wait, I'm so confused. Uh, what? Wait, what? Oh, I can go. What the hell? That's weird. <laughs> Honestly, I'm amazed that anyone can travel so far across the world in this age. Say, Zion underscore Phi isn't with you. Why not? His mother passed away. He's gone to visit her grave. Of course, his mother. He loved her dearly. A terrible loss. It must be hard on him. Well, he may not be here, but we still have much to discuss. He must be working to break the seal on alchemy. Uh... Sure. Zion is where Fire has done quite well in finding you. What mission could have... Oh, whoops. <laughs> What, Zionosphere 5 has not told you anything about his mission? Really? So you actually have nothing at all to do with alchemy? Well, we're adepts. Our parents were kidnapped by the Fire Clan far to the north. We are only firing the lighthouse beacons to gain their freedom. King Hydros told me that Venus and Mercury have been ignited once again. Was that your doing? Yes. I'm afraid I know nothing of any Northern Fire Clan. But that does not explain you, sir. You're clearly not related to these two. What are your goals? Great and join us in this quest on behalf of Lord Babby of Tolby. Babby? I only know of one man named Babby, but it couldn't be. Master Loompa. The babby we speak of is the same man you knew long ago. So he's still out there, living in the outside world. Well, no, he's actually dead. Well, that might not be the most accurate way of putting it. He was living, until recently, that is. So babby has passed away, but only recently, you say? When he finally ran out of his mystic droughts, his spirit began to wane. Then I no longer know anyone in the outside world. But aren't you Loompa, the righteous thief? I was called that once long ago. Why do you ask? I'll bet there's at least one person in the outside world whom you still know. Uh, five, five question marks? Who would that be? There's a town called Loompa in northern Angara. A man named Danpa lives there. Ah, yes, I did remember correctly. I settled that village. And Danpa, he is my son. Now your grandson, Dodanpa, rules over your village. Angry face rules? Rules is some ill-sounding word. But it's an accurate one, Loompa. Dodanpa is an evil thief who has caused much trouble in Angara. What has become of my son? How could he permit such a thing to happen? Master Loompa, don't you know how old Danpa is? He is as I am, an old man. He may be older even than I. If this news outrages you, why don't you go and set Dodanpa straight? If only I could. Is this the only reason we're here? To bring news of the outside world? No. I'm sorry we were sidetracked. We have much more to, to discuss. But before we begin, there is one thing I must say. You don't mind, do you, Sash? Um... No. I knew you'd agree. I have discussed this with none but Sash, but I have my own reasons for this quest. What do you mean? Only that I have my own reasons for wanting to see the Leakin- the Leakin's bit again. Why are you telling us all this now? 
Because I feel this quest is deeply linked to Lemuria. I thought it odd that Lord Babby should order me to research alchemy. Hey, wait a minute. Is this what you promised to tell us once we reached Lemuria? Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> like 10 hours of gameplay ago. Long ago, before alchemy's power was sealed, there were many civilizations as advanced and cultivated as Lemuria. At the moment the alchemy was sealed away, most of those civilizations began to wane, until eventually they vanished. I have formed certain theories now, suggesting that this may be related to the seal and alchemy. Let me get this straight, you felt you couldn't tell us this until we were in Lemuria? And you only wanted to come to Lemuria to test your theories and see if they were true? But even if everything you said is true, what does it all mean? If your theories are correct, the world itself will wane and vanish. Won't it, Kraden? Sorry underscore Fi never spoke to this to you, did he? If you came to this theory on your own, you are indeed a wise scholar. We would do well to trust you. King Hydros and I, as well as others in Lemuria, hold the same beliefs that you do, Kraden. You do? Civilizations thrive by building upon the knowledge of the past. Knowledge gained in one generation should be taken even further by the next. Thus, knowledge and learning continues to grow. This is the natural course of civilization. Yes, that's how it works. But where is the world today? The great civilizations of old have all withered and vanished. We are all isolated and alone. You have encountered many cultures in your travels. Are any of them capable of building the great sanctums and lighthouses you have seen? Probably not. No, they're not. But this is not the only sign of the decay you have theorized. I think it best that you hear this the rest directly from His Majesty, King Hydros. Yes, we shall go visit the King. But he's in council with Lord Conservato. Conservato, that fool. He refuses to acknowledge what he can see with his own eyes. I will meet with the King and press our evidence upon Conservato. Come with me. Uh, stupid dog. Wow, he went Super Saiyan. <laughs> to the King's Chambers. Lumpa ought to be as old as Lord Babby was, but he has so much energy. He's got a fire in him. I do wish I could have heard more about Lord Babby, though. But come, Sash, to the King's Palace we go. City of tons of dialogue. Ahem. <clears throat> Ganon wants me to use reveal up here. Better be worth it, Mr. Ganon. I have been lied to. Typical. SMH. What do you mean, see? There's nothing there. Should we, like, pick up Zionist for fire yet? I have exhausted that possibility, giving you peace of mind. Giving... Oh, he's gone. Giving you peace of mind, you mean? Where could he have gone? I already went to the tower, come on. If you seek the counsel of His Highness the King, 
Follow this passage to the doors at the end. Oh my god, the palace. The palace! King Hydros is the wisest of all the Lemurian kings. Oh, is that so? Is that so? The entrance guards said you weren't allowed in the palace no matter what, and I just walked in. No problem. No problem. Forget about it. That's what they were like. Aha! Uh -huh. Another lucky medal! Oh, more chances at more stuff, I guess. He is still in chambers with Lord Conservato. Why is he granting them entrance? You are Lord Sash, correct? Uh, yes. Wow, look at this guy. It would seem the warriors of which you spoke have arrived. So it would, your highness. I shall call them to us immediately. There is no need, Boompa. Let us go to them. Hydros, would you see me dishonored thus? They ought to present themselves to us. I do not go to present myself to them. Conservato, I am merely going to where they are. Dude, we're just like across the hall. Jeez, it's not like a huge deal. <laughs> he walked like he walked like six steps, and this old the other old guy is like, no, I am not gonna walk that far. <laughs> I heard of your arrival. It is quite remarkable that you were able to reach Lemuria. Allow me to introduce my companions. This is she here. Cats and Sash and Kraden. Kraden is the one who told me of the outside world's civilizations of their condition. Ah, uh, Kraden, Moonpa describes you as a remarkable scholar. Your research impressed us. Thank you, Her Your Highness. Your theories are correct. Our world is now on a path to destruction. And who has decided this? You, Hydros? Some civili- Get on screen, Conservato! Lemuria remains unchanged. Don't delude yourself, Lemuria has been in slow decline for ages now. My most trusted scholars have reached the conclusion after extensive research. I sense Zion to square Phi to confirm this to me. You violated the directive of the Senate! You used the tidal wave as your chance to send Zionist for fire away, despite our commands. You are incorrect. The tidal wave carried me alone by chance. Conservator, you must know that the tidal wave was caused by Poseidon's return. Only a fool would have chosen to send a man to see if he knew that this would happen. What was it that you intended to have Zionist for Fi confirm? Wow, oh, fancy ass freaking map! <laughs> Floor map! This map shows the ancient world when Lemuria is still traded with other people. It was a great age, a time when the world shined brightly. Floor map? And this is the map Loompa had with him when he arrived in Lemuria 150 years ago. I used this map to sail around the world. It is quite accurate. Incredible! You understand, Kraden? Well, unless my eyes deceive me, the continents have shrunk since the Golden Age. It does kind of look like, uh, the world map, but yeah, it's a bit different. That's insane! It is not insane, it is true. Perhaps this will make the points more clearly. Look at these two maps side by side. Oh yeah, they're definitely different. 
Nothing but lies. What do you hope to gain from foisting these lies upon our people? Can we stop that sound effect? You know well that I hope to gain nothing more than the truth, Conservato. And who do you expect will believe such nonsense? If you do not believe the evidence before your eyes, what do you believe? Do you believe the Lemurian map to be accurate to this day? Is that Trump? Tell me, Zion Scorpion. <laughs> Global warming is not happening. <laughs> you were able to investigate this matter, were you not? Thanks to Sash and my companions, I was able to travel much of the Eastern Sea. And what did you find? I found in truth that Limpa's map is the more accurate of the two. However, the world seems even smaller now that it appears on Limpa's map. What are you saying? Time itself has stopped. Think of Wayard as a living, breathing being, possessing its own life force. The four elements are the nourishment needed to sustain his being. Hayden, this is exactly now what I'm even more charming. King Hayden, Hydros. Yo, thanks to Pythagorean theory for following. Himself has said to me. Ever since alchemy was sealed away, the world has been cut off from its nourishment. It has gone into a state akin to Whoa, hibernation. That was awesome! Yo, the follow... The do... Oh, what? Link again? Wait, how did you re-follow? It's not supposed to have worked like that. <laughs> By using less energy, but well, thanks to you, I guess. <laughs> using less energy, Wired prolongs its life. Yeah, when hibernating, the being has only stopped its own clock, not the flow of time around it. When a bear sleeps through the winter, it needs only wait for spring to come. When it awakens, it can nourish its weakened body again. But if spring never comes, the bear will eventually die. Where it is wasting away, its continents shrinking because its spring has never come. Hydros, how can you make such outrageous claims? The world is not alive. The world is flat. <laughs> Tell me, Conservato. Why do you think Poseidon has returned? Well, he's dead now. Do you have the answer? The elemental lighthouses. Sash and his companions have lit the beacons on both Mercury and Venus lighthouse. What? Have you had any idea what will happen if you set that evil loose upon the world again? Uh, yes. You know that it could bring about the destruction of the world, and yet you did it anyway? My lord, you cannot possibly intend for these people to light the remaining beacons. I do indeed, and I also fear the possibility that alchemy will destroy the world. Well, it's either like, have one big bang, or die slowly. <laughs> Pick your poison, right? This is madness! Does the threat of alchemy mean so little to you? Would you put the world in even greater danger to satisfy your theories? With only two of the beacons lit, I assume you intend to send Zion Scorpi out again? And I will go, Lord Conservato. Sash has need of my power. Then go, but if you do say farewell, for... If you do say farewell, for you will never be able to return. You will be banished from Lemuria forever. You know our laws. Are you prepared for the outcome? I myself am disgusted by the whole matter. I take my leave of you. Angry face, but I warn you. I will not permit you to go through with this madness. 
Jeez, dude. What will you do, your highness? I knew this outcome was inevitable. But I could not sit silent while our world drifted down the path of its destruction. I want you to light the remaining beacons before you return. That's what we intend to do, but we cannot leave the Eastern Sea. I have already heard of this problem from Zionist Group 5. Whoa, it's a chest. He just magically pulled a chest out of his pocket. This is something I found by accident in some ruins back in my days as a thief. I'm not sure what it is, but it seems to contain some powerful synergy. Seems to, you're not certain? It is a synergy that we Lemurians are unable to use. I understand you travel with many different kinds of adepts, do you not, Sash? Yes, we have one of each element. Then at least one of you should be able to use the synergy that this contains. King Hydros believes the item can only be used by one who wields synergy of the Earth. It is a powerful synergy we call Grind. Oh boy, time to grind. If you master the synergy, the reefs that block your way shall pose no trouble anymore. With Grind, you should be able to create a path which we can sail into the Western Sea. That seems really useful. Go, brave adepts! By your hands, may the remaining lighthouses burn bright once more. That synergy is quite powerful. It can only be trusted to a very few people. That His Highness has given it to you should illustrate how great his expectations are. I want to sail into your western sea. Ah, nice, nice. I have no doubt that your journey will be fraught with ever-increasing danger. But we are counting on you, Sash. Alright, well we got Zionist for 5 back at least. We got the grindstone! Sail to the Western Sea. I guess we're gonna be banished from Lemuria now. Do not listen to, to Conservative. We cannot let the world winter and die. Go, brave adapts by your hands. May the remaining lighthouses burn bright once more. But what's up here? It's a book called The Diary of Hydros. Dionysus Murphy is most definitely still alive. I pray for his safe return. That's cool. Oh, I'm up here now, but like, there's no point. So we got grind. Do my inventory it needs clean up. Heavy, heavy clean up right now. Lemuria, best music? It's alright. Why can't you just teach me grind and not make it a freaking item to take up my inventory space? Ugh. Pulverize large objects. The word pulverize is very satisfying. I don't know why. He seems very angry. Maybe that's why he called for a Senate meeting. Wait, 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 wait. Now I'm on this roof. If you and Lumpa were all to leave Lemuria, I think we'd have peace and quiet here again. Wasn't there like... Didn't Alice say there was a djinn here? Like way long ago? <laughs> like... 
an hour ago because you've done all nothing but dialogue. Yes. Let's find the gin. That'll be my last objective for tonight. Perhaps, perhaps I can jump over here. What does it get me? Nothing. Ah, uh, okay. What about this side? What's the point? Why are they making you even let you freaking jump over there? I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. That seems, uh... Pointless. So we got grind. It's kind of exciting. It's probably some place where you have to just jump somewhere. I don't even know where it is, so... I'll see what... Oh, okay. It sounds as if there's a raucous caucus. <laughs> what? Oh, Jenny, Jenny, where are you? Where is my Jenny? Well, down here was just a hard nut, right? There's nothing up there, at least I don't think so. This is just going backwards. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I can't jump across that? But okay, I guess. It looks like I could, but okay. Where's this gosh darn Ginny? I mean, there's not much to explore. I can examine graves, apparently. Oh, come on. There's gotta be one of these. Are you serious? None of them? Wait, what's the point? Okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> I actually debated. I don't understand, like, why... Why would you even let me inspect the gravestones? If none of them were useful. here. Like, why do they let you freaking jump across here? Other areas? Okay, not in the city part, I guess. Well. Never mind. I guess I'll go down here then. Oh yeah, I didn't explore like all the way over here. On the boat segment. Uh, okay. Are we setting off now? Um, am I? I don't know if this is going to be, like, permanent. <laughs> to see we go. Okay, yeah, it's just right here. Um, wait, they're just gonna... Wait, 
There's something I've been meaning to ask you, something I have to ask you. It's auto scrolling, by the way. Ask me, Shihihi. You and I look roughly the same age, but how old are you really? Is that your question? It's not important. It is to me. If you are much older than us, then I am afraid we have not shown you the proper respect. She's got a point. Don't worry about such things. Please treat me as you have all along. No, that won't do. You have to tell us. Why, well, come now. This is silly. No, Zion underscore five. Tell me. You're afraid you haven't shown me the proper respects, and yet you make demands of me? Come on, Zion underscore five. You can tell us. How old are you, really? This has nothing to do with respect. You just want to know how old I am, don't you? Of course. <laughs> Oh my god, these guys. I knew it. Come on, Sash. Can't you get them off my back? Dot, dot, dot. You're in this too, aren't you, Sash? I've had it with your conspiracies. I will not tell you. Oh man, we never learn. That was a kind of a fun conversation, I guess. Oh no, with the, uh, the power of the grind. The power of the grindiness. She's nine. Mr. Rice, didn't you just turn like 13 a few days ago? Hey, this is where you find the Ginny. It has to be, right? It has to be. Wait, what the hell? Wait. <laughs> Oh, this is different, right? Okay, ancient Lemuria. Oh, I like this. I love... I've said this before, but I love, like, destroyed ruins. The game really... This game really does a good job with destroyed ruin, uh... Architecture. You turned 10 a few days ago. Give me proper respects. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oops, that's the wrong move. You know, I could use a freaking... a heal here. I put that on the wrong button. That's right. There's gotta be something under one of these grasses. Right? Right, guys? Please? Don't put grassies if there's nothing under the grassies. Ah, oh, I've been baited. Nice statue. Oh, okay. Actually not baited. Pop champ. That sound effect though. Um... What if I grind on the statue a bit? Okay. Tremor of the statue. Oh, no fights? Wow, very rare for no no fight, Ginny. Sash from the Mercury Ginny rhyme. Nice, nice. We can become a sage. Look at those stats. No, actually. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Is that what it is? Ancient Lemuria. This is a cool little area. I'm guessing this... Looks like I can, like, parch this. Nah. That's the name of a famous poem? Oh, okay. I am sorry, I do not delve into the poems much. The world of literature. An Iron Maiden song. Mm. 
my friend listens to some Iron Maiden, I think. He's all about that metal. Is there anything else around here? You should too. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, I do enjoy most types of music, I guess. Pretty much anything except for, like, screamo, basically. Alright. Well, I guess... I guess that's our Lemuria trip done. But what lies on the western part of the world? Find out next time on Golden Sun, the last age. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you later. We'll be back on Friday night for more Golden Sun goodness. Have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>